Hey, hey, welcome everyone to this week's episode of The Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander, and this is a special week for Mommy Income. This is our birthday week. Mommy Income turns eight years old this week, and I am so excited to talk about that. It's been a really crazy ride, to be honest. It's been crazy. It's been interesting. It's been fun. It's been hard. It's been all of the things I expected and some of the things I haven't expected. And I wanted to share with you a little bit about the journey because I think it's really important to reflect and to look back. I think oftentimes we get so caught up in the here and now and the what's required of us and what we want right this moment that we forget to look back at how far we've come. We forget to look back at who we were once or who we decided not to be or what pivots and changes we've made along the way. I think those things are super important to think about and to give yourselves a time of reflection so that you can decide and determine where you're going, what you want, what you want next, what you want now. I love birthdays for that reason. I love to celebrate birthdays for that reason. It's just your day. And every year on my own birthday, I take that day off and I spend some time, hours actually, with my notebook and my color pens and I sit and have breakfast and with myself and I write down and reflect all the goals I had uh, the previous year what I've done, what I haven't done yet, what I've decided I didn't want to do anymore, all the kinds of things. I, I'm intentional and deliberate about that because it's helped me so much over the course of the years being able to do that and being able to take that day and that time for myself to decide where do I want to go next? What do I want to do? What don't I want to do? What am I doing and why am I doing it? You know, eight years in mommy income and I do this the same way for the business as well. So much time can pass. So much can go on. And taking time to reflect is really, really important. Now, if you think about mommy income, it started with one Facebook comment and then a guest appearance on a show and then my own show. And for a year after that one show I made an appearance on, I decided I want my own show. I want to be able to share my my knowledge and my information with people, things I've learned along the way so that they don't have to make the same mistakes that I've made, um, that I've had to stumble through. I wanted to be of service and to help. For a year, I worked on creating content and doing shows and helping people before I earned a single dollar for it. I was earning my credibility, paying my dues, learning, growing, failing, changing, pivoting. The investment was time and effort. Time and effort. Didn't cost a whole lot of money in the beginning, but it took a lot of time and effort. Hundreds of thousands of students and clients and listeners and viewers, over 500 podcast episodes and live shows workshops and conferences, writing a book, millions of dollars being generated by my clients, my students, and myself. I'm here first to say thank you to you. Thank you to you for continuing on this journey with me. Thank you to you for listening, watching, taking action, hearing the hard things, doing the hard things. As it was in the beginning of Mommy Income, my goal and my mission has not changed for my business or my life. My desire in Mommy Income is to help as many people as possible. I desire to seek out the greatest potential in people and help them reach higher than they ever thought possible. My goal at Mommy Income is to be the help that I once had, to be the help that I never had to be the help that's needed in the moment. I like to solve problems and see results, but most importantly, I wanna make people feel inspired and motivated, confident and special. But why, why do I want that? Why is that the goal of mommy income? 
Because when people feel their best, they make great decisions. They become better humans. They operate, the closer that you operate to your highest potential by serving others with your gifts, the entire world becomes a better place. If people can get right about what they want and how they get there, the world becomes a better place. When people feel inspired and motivated, they take action. They do things that help others and help themselves. Makes the world a better place. That's still the goal of Mommy Income, even eight years later. I started helping people. I will continue helping people in whatever capacity that is. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing Mommy Income to exist for this long. I'm forever grateful, thankful that I have people to serve and help. Thankful to you that you're willing to receive help and take action. Now, I wanted to answer an email recently because just on the birthday, while we're reflecting on Mommy Income's birthday, I recently received an email and I want to read it to you. It's short and sweet, but there's so much in here. And I want to answer this question on this podcast. Nancy writes, I just wanted to say thanks for all you do. Your podcast inspires me every week. I love your story and how strong you are. You seem to never give up and keep working even when it's hard. Thank you for saying the hard things that we need to hear. You are so successful. I can only dream of a million dollars. Do you have a housekeeper and a nanny and everything? Honestly, can you tell me how you did it all? (laughs) I just take a step back. I don't mean to laugh, but it's kind of, it makes me laugh when I hear, do you have like a housekeeper and a nanny and everything? Like people think about that and they're like, oh my gosh, it's, it's a, must be a place you arrive that people start thinking these things. So I thank you, Nancy, for your question. But Nancy, honestly, for you and everyone else listening, there isn't a magic formula. But looking back, I appreciate your question because you're asking me, how did you do it all? How are you doing it all? Do you have all these things? But there's a few key things that got me where I am today and can move you in the right direction as well, no matter what your goals are. There's a few things. So I took some time to really reflect and think about this question from Nancy so that I could kind of let you guys know. First and foremost, how I got to where I am, it's my faith. My faith in God has carried me through I know whose I am, and I know who I am. And no foreclosure or bankruptcy or sickness or heartache changes that. God will carry me through. He will give me all that I need to live a life of love and gratitude and service to others. He will challenge me and give me strength to carry out the mission that he has placed on my life. That mission is also something I love and can't wait to do every day. It's to help and serve, to support others, to see, recognize, and guide the greatest potential. Believing it's possible to see change, to make change, to be change is the first step. Having faith, having faith and believing that what you want is possible. Every single thing I do, decisions I make, people I talk to, curriculum I create, everything flows from that fountain. Possibility and strength. It doesn't come from within. I tap into the resource that's most important to me, and that's God. It also comes from a couple other places. Necessity. Necessity is the author of change. Tim Hensel. I don't I pulled that from somewhere because I'm like, what is necessity? How do you define this? Well, financially, my necessity was that I needed to earn income to help support the family. Period. That's what I needed to do. And whether that was creating my own business and selling things on eBay, which is where I started, or working at a job, that was financially necessary. And with young children, At the time when I started my business, I didn't want to leave them and go to the workforce. I wanted to figure out a way to make money and be home with them. That was the, that was part of it. 
necessity. I didn't have a choice. I needed to work. I needed to earn income. The choice I had was how. How I was going to earn that income. And I'll be honest, it would be it would have been a lot easier if I would have just went somewhere, got a dollar an hour job someplace doing something to just trade dollars for hours. That would have been easier. You punch in, you do your stuff, you punch out. It's not that hard. Right? But I guess I chose the hard way because I wanted to be around for my kids. I wanted to raise them. I wanted to be an influence on their life. And so I chose the harder way to stay home and to try to work around that and be flexible. Necessity. Faith and necessity. The next thing is specific dreams and goals. Specific. Decide what you want most in life. I kept a journal. I keep a journal. I'm a writer. I love to write. I, I do brain dumps. I write all kinds of things, things that the world will never see. I write songs. I write poems. I write everything. I write emotions. I'm just a writer. And I keep a journal of prayers and thoughts and dreams and goals. And sometimes it's just gibberish, but it gets out of my head because when things get stuck in my head, Lord, help me. <laughs> I keep a journal. Looking back, I, I found an old journal. I wanted to look back at right around the time I was starting Mommy Income and look at what, I, what were my goals? What were my dreams and my desires? Now, I will tell you, if you do this, if you keep a journal and you look back at your journals, give yourself some grace and give yourself some time because things come up that you forgot you prayed for, forgot you thought about, forgot you hoped for. That you can't even believe how different things really are. Those moments when I write are in, in the moment. They're, they're raw emotions. They're at the time being. So going back was definitely an eye-opening experience. But I was looking, I thought, what when in the beginning of mommy income, what was I praying for? What was I hoping for? What was I working towards? And I've got to tell you, this is the exact line I'm quoting from my journal in 2014, right before I started doing my own show, my own podcast, everything. It says, I just want to be able to afford my medicine and put tires on our cars without having to worry about where the extra money will come from. Medicine and tires. Then I got practical. I had a specific dream, a specific goal. That doesn't seem very big, right? It wasn't make a million dollars, y'all. It was I just want to make enough money to afford my medicine and put tires on the car without worrying about where it's going to come from. When you have to choose between putting food on the table and putting medicine in your body, both of which are necessities, the struggle is real. And then I did something practical with that, with that goal. I made a list of expenses and income and figured out how much extra I needed to close the gap. I needed an extra $104 a week consistently to reach that goal. It's the goal. It's the dream. I say goal because sometimes when we talk about dreams, people are like, oh, starry-eyed dreams, like lofty fantasy world. Look, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm going to get real, realistic practical kind of person. I wouldn't even allow myself to dream that big that time. I just wanted enough to get by. I just wanted enough to get the medicine and the tires. But that doesn't mean I didn't have bigger dreams. I set bigger dreams, but the smaller ones were easy to accomplish with smaller steps. I could figure out a way to make an extra $104 a week consistently. It's going to take time and effort time and effort. Here's the deal. You've got to become crystal clear about what you want and flexible about how you get there. Crystal clear about what I wanted. There was no compromise in what I wanted. I want to afford my medicine. What do I need to do? What a small step I need to do to take that, to get there. Determination. AKA stubbornness, if you really want to call that. I love determination, but stubbornness is another thing. Either I will find my way or I will make a way. Because I'm not giving up on that. I'm not giving up on the possibility that I can afford my medicine without checking my bank balance. No quitting. No quitting. No quitting on your goal. Be flexible about how you get there. When I say flexible, I mean I'm crystal clear about what I want, but how I get there could be multiple ways. 
one week I might be selling some stuff on eBay. The next week I'll be starting an Amazon thing. The next week I'll do whatever it is. Flexible about the how. Clear about the what. Determination. Making a way. Figuring out a way. No quitting. You're going to quit on your own dream? Your own goal? If you want to take the island, you've got to burn the boat. I learned that very early on in when I, I say career. I don't even know what this is. Is this a career? <laughs> I don't even know the definition of that. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know. I'm just a business owner. But I heard that years ago. If you want to take the island, burn the boat. And I was like, what exactly does that mean? It means no looking back, no quitting. You're committed to taking the island because you burned your boat. There's no way back. There's no way backwards. They don't flow backwards. You got to go forward. And sometimes our boat is burned for us. Sometimes we have no choice. In the foreclosure process, we didn't have a choice. We did all we could and it wasn't enough. Have you ever felt that way in your life? Have you ever had something happen to you or something that you created for your own mess you created for yourself? Or you've done absolutely all you can and it still wasn't enough. Take the island by burning the boat. There's no plan B. There's no backwards. It's we have to go this way only. Because I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back to foreclosure. I don't want that. There wasn't a plan B. It was taken away. There was like, now what? Burn the boat. Decide that you're taking the island. That you're taking a step towards your goal. And that you will find a way or make a way. Burn the boat. What boat do you have at your dock waiting to go back if this thing doesn't work out? I got to tell you, it will work out if you make it work out. Notice I didn't say that would be easy. It's not. It's not. You'll never hear that from me. Sorry. Not sorry. You're not going to hear that it's easy. You're not going to hear that it's full of sunshines and rainbows and flowers and candy. But it's possible and it's worth it. But it's going to take the next thing. Discipline. Ooh, no one likes that word. Nobody. To be disciplined. It always has this negative connotation to it. Discipline. But dreams and goals don't work unless you work. You've got to do the work. They won't chase you. Your goals will not chase you. You can put them on a sticky note. You can put them on a meme. You can put them on a framed picture in your living room, on your mirror. But they won't chase you. You've got to chase them. You must decide what you want and run towards it. Hell, crawl if you have to. But you've got to take the move. Dreams and goals don't move. You must intentionally move towards them, albeit slow as a turtle if you have to. But discipline is required. Discipline, self-discipline is difficult, but it can happen in small steps. Nancy, another way that I've been successful is it took time, lots of time. Lots of time. No one wants to hear this stuff either, guys. Nobody. No one wants to hear me say that it took me 10 years to make my first million dollars. This is the truth. But guess what? It only took me one year to make the second million. It's like compound interest. It's really slow in the beginning. But once you get bigger, once you grow into those steps... It becomes easier over time. You learn and grow and change. No one wants to hear the truth, but the truth is that anything great takes time to build, takes time to curate, takes time. We all know that soup or stew or pot roast that's been sitting in the crock pot cooking all day tastes way better and has more flavor 
than something that you make in 30 minutes. You ever heard of it always takes best better the next day? There's a reason for that. It needs time to settle in and marinate and curate. It takes time to build excellence. It takes time to build quality. Time and effort. We all want things in a rush. Instant. Instagram. Instacart. Insta, insta, insta. Everything is instant. Except success. It's not. It's the one thing that we can't expedite. Because there's too many things to learn along the way to get you to that place. And guess what? When you get to that place, here's my air quotes, there's no such thing. It's not an arrival. Everything's a journey. I will tell you that when you get to a certain place, the journey becomes a lot easier. You have different challenges, but you have built up the strength to handle them because of all the challenges you've been through before. You're working that muscle, that strength muscle. It needs to be built up. It needs to be challenged. It needs to have pain in order to grow. <clears throat> Ooh, the other words people don't like, right? Consistency. The result you see in your life right now, in your business, in your life, whatever's happening right now, today, is the result of your consistent actions six months ago, a year ago, 10 years ago. If you put in mediocre effort, you're going to get mediocre results. I don't understand why people expect less than that or more than that. You get what you put in. Routines, patterns, and consistencies. It does, and you decide that. You decide your own consistency. It doesn't have to be daily. It can be weekly, monthly, annually. But what you do will be your result. So if you know what you want and you're crystal clear about what you want and when and how, the flexibility is in the how, right? but crystal clear about what you want. It's going to take consistent effort. It's not going to be putting one thing out there and have it fail and you give up and try something else. Because the more you give up and try something else and give up and try something else and give up and try something else, how much closer are you getting to your goal? Now, I'm all about change and pivot. I don't love it sometimes, but changing and pivoting is necessary to get to where you're going. That's the flexibility of the how. But the goal isn't changing. Whatever that is for you. What is your goal? What is your desire? What do you want? Routine, patterns, and consistency. If you tend to be rush, rush, rush and gung-ho in the beginning and then taper off after three or six months when things get hard and you notice that as a pattern in your life, your life right now is a direct result of that pattern. What do you need to change in the pattern to create a new cycle for yourself? What consistency can you put in place to make a small change? And one of the final things that's got me to where I am right now, the success that you guys see or the success that you're seeing, Nancy, support, help, support. Didn't always have all the support I wanted and needed. I'll be honest. There were times where everyone abandoned me. But you can't do this alone. You're not meant to. Let's just be honest with ourselves. We don't have all the answers. We can't solve all the problems. We don't have all the skills. The sooner you accept that, the easier it is to fix it. I don't have video editing skills, y'all. Yet my videos are edited because I found someone who is and is great at that. They wouldn't want to be on video ever, but they're happy to edit them. They have that skill. A mentor, a coach, a spouse, a partner, a friend, a bookkeeper, DoorDash, (laughs) Instacart, a community, a church, a life group. 
support. And I will tell you this about support. Help, whatever you want to call it. You can't be helped if you won't be honest. Honest with yourself. Honest with others. Honest about what you want. Honest about what you don't want. You can't do this alone. You're not meant to do it alone. So who can be your help, your coach, your mentor, your your partner, your spouse, a community, somebody, somewhere that you can be honest with and say, look, I've made a mess of things. Help me clean it up. Or I'm just starting and I have no idea what to do. And I'm so scared to make a mess of things that I don't even want to take action. I need help, support. And finally, expecting obstacles helps lead towards success. Expect it. Expect problems. Expect obstacles. I think sometimes people walk into things thinking they're excited and they're motivated and they're inspired and that's all the great things. But walk in knowing I will face challenges, but I will get through them. Other people have walked this road and they've stepped over potholes and they've, you know, gone around roadblocks and they've jumped over and around and through. But you expect them. They don't come as a shock when all of a sudden something something goes wrong. Expect obstacles. Go around them. Go through them. Go over them. Build a bridge. Because I think when we expect sunshines and rainbows and success and all these things and they don't come, it's the biggest reason we make excuses. Reasons to give up. Reasons it's too hard. That's one thing I've learned early on. And that's the one thing I really wanted to share with you with after all of this stuff. Is that at the end of the day, you can't deposit excuses. We all have many of them. Reasons why we can't do this. Excuses. An attempt to lessen the blame attached to a fault or an offense. My bundle failed because fill in the blank. I can't do this because. What's your biggest excuse? I'm just going to pause there. I'm going to say it again and I'm going to pause because I really want you to just think about it. Be honest with yourself. No one's judging. And if they are, who cares? Their opinion doesn't cash your paycheck. So no matter if somebody's judging you or not, that's none of your business. That's on them. Okay. So you're off the hook for worrying about judgment from others. Be honest with yourself. You can't deposit excuses. So what's your biggest one? The reason you can't, the reason you won't, the reason that's holding you back. What are you afraid of? What obstacle have you put in your own way? Are you crystal clear about what you want? Are you? Are you flexible about how you'll get that, but determined that you will? Determined that you will. Because that's not something anyone can take from you. You can lose houses and go bankrupt. You can lose friends. You can lose loved ones, you can lose relationships, you can lose a job, you can get in a car accident. But no one can take away your determination except you. That's very powerful. You can't deposit excuses. So I'm going to challenge you. To get crystal clear about what you want, even if it's something as insignificant as making an extra $104 a week to afford tires and medicine. Whatever that is for you, make a small goal and be determined that no one, including yourself, will stand in your way. Have faith that it's possible and it's possible for you. And it's possible for you. Why? Because you're going to do the work. Because you're going to be disciplined. Because the result is worth it. And you know what else? When you achieve your result, by the way, we have plenty. 
I can afford my medicine and my tires now. But it's not because I sat around wishing and hoping and praying and writing it down. It's because I did the work. Because I was determined not to quit. That I was able to be flexible about the how. I want that for you. If you want to know a little bit more about how to build your goal, if you're not sure exactly what you want or how to get there, my book, Dream Big, Step Small, has the steps in chapter three to build your in a perfect world and your goals. And then all the reasons why you don't need any more excuses. Practical steps, small steps. Dream Big, Step Small. The book is on my website, mommyincome.com. It's in, on Audible if you want to listen to it. It's on Amazon. It's in an ebook, a paperback. Any, you can even order a signed copy from my website, mommyincome.com. But I challenge you to create your inner perfect world. What is your goal, dream, desire? And then practice some of these things. I know they don't seem fun at times. We're discipline or consistency. But it's necessary to at least decide for you what is it that you want and how are you going to get there? I want you to know you're not alone. You have support right here. Every week you can listen to this podcast. Listen to it over and over if you must. I listen to something daily that motivates and inspires me to be the best person I can be. So if that's the one change you need to make, so be it. Change your mind, then change your actions. Y'all, I know that you could be anywhere else doing any other thing, listening to any other podcast in the world right now, and you're here listening to this. I don't take that for granted. I'm so, so thankful for that. Thank you for listening to the Amazon Files podcast. And just as a birthday celebration, if you are a Wholesale Bundle student, or if you are interested in becoming a Wholesale Bundle student, or looking for some coaching, or looking for a product or something that we might offer have a special birthday coupon code for you with a special offer. So check it out at mommyincome.com using the coupon code birthday22, mommyincome.com forward slash birthday with birthday22 for a special offer for you. Again, happy birthday, Mommy Income. Thank you for giving me the privilege to do this week after week. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful week, everyone. See you same time, same place next week on the Amazon Files.